So a web browser is that program that allows you to access the internet. Please do not say that Facebook is a web browser. It is not a program that allows us to access or browse the web. It is an application. Now, there's also what we call the uniform resource locator. This. this is a URL. Sometimes you have casnep.ac.ke uh, or you have .com. But this is what is very important for us, the first three. The name of the website, www, we type because we want to identify the particular resource on the World Wide Web. HTTP is the Hypertext Transfer Protocol, which will talk about how messages are formatted and how they are transmitted. Many at times we can't remember these URLs. Like if I ask you now, can you tell me the URL for Harvard University? Nobody knows. So what happens here is that now we need what we are calling uh, a search engine, another terminology, search engine. Before the introduction of Google, it was very difficult to look for information on the internet. So the search engine is that particular uh, internet uh, internet tool for locating information on the world wide web it's an internet tool that we use for locating information like if, if i have uh if i set up i have the internet and i type i access google.com the google will give me a path where i can type what i want maybe i want latest cars in the world or maybe i want uh, accounting rules. When I type accounting rules, it will take me to so many links, so many hyperlinks on the internet. I just type latest cars, I press internet, it gives me so many links. There could be over 100 links for organizations that are marketing latest cars. If I look at accounting rules, there could be so many links of people giving information about accounting rules. Like, for example, you can access the internet and, and somebody types uh, MIS lectures. There are so many MIS lectures in the world. So somebody again types MIS lectures for CASNET. Then you'll find two or three uh, uh, individuals who have given the MIS lectures for CASNET. So when we look at the search engine, it is supposed to help us look for information. And why? Because we, we are not robots to remember the URLs. But the current web browsers, the latest versions of the Google Chrome, the Mozilla Firefox, all these have automated search engines. You just type the name of the organization that you want to access on the, on, on the, on the address point. Like if I want information about UON, I just type UON. And it opens for me so many links about UON. If I want information about uh, 
internet uh, or about Casnet. I just type Casnet and it will give me so many links about Casnet. Uh, the other terminology that we have is what we call hotspot. Hotspot. Now, I know many people use their phones as a hotspot. Like, for example, if I, I have my phone and, and, and I want to use my laptop and I don't have any Wi-Fi connectivity and at the same time, I don't, I'm, I'm not connected uh, to any cable, then I can make my phone to be a hotspot. Uh, I, I just turn the internet on, I set the phone to be a hotspot and I can be able to access it. Uh, I can be able to access the hotspot name on my laptop, uh, click on it, and then I connect, and I'll be able to download whatever I want to download. So we are told uh, for users, uh, for users of portable computers that are equipped with wireless, a hotspot is a wireless uh, node. A wireless node. What is that node? A terminal, like a, a smartphone. That's what we are calling a wireless node. So it is any node, any terminal that provides internet accessibility and can be set up. Uh, to, 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 to allow people to access the internet remotely. And that takes us to another term called uh, Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. That is wireless fidelity. Wireless fidelity. That's what we are calling Wi-Fi. Many institutions have set up Wi-Fi. Many institutions have set up Wi-Fi or internet so that they can be able, uh, Wi-Fi, so that they can be able to access the internet. Uh, in the traditional world, there was no, there, there was no Wi-Fi. People could go to the cyber to access the internet. Uh, the technology is slowly making cybers to be redundant because people can access the internet from their phones. So Wi-Fi uh, talks about a wireless networking technology that allows computers and other devices to communicate over a wireless signal uh, without uh, uh, for organizations, it's without paying a fee. If an organization sets up a Wi-Fi, it will allow its students to communicate over the wireless signal without paying uh, any fee. So it's allowing uh, people to communicate over a wireless signal. And Wi-Fi is the standard way that computers connect to the wireless uh, signal. That is what we are calling Wi-Fi. There's another term called proxy have a web portal. That web portal for CASNEB uh, enables students to check, to, 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 to check or verify their results, register for courses, uh, query the CASNEB programs. That is what we are calling a web portal. 
Almost every educational institution have a web portal because when students do exams, they always uh, they will always have to check their results uh, or they will always uh, check their fee balances. Now that is about the various internet terminologies that we can be able to talk about in uh, that particular lesson. Our next area to cover talks about internet services. 